You will not believe what my patient told me her doctor said to her the other day. Are you ready for this? What did the doctor say? She said women don't need testosterone. You heard that right. She went to her doctor with valid concerns. Classic symptoms of low testosterone are low libido, lack of motivation, feeling tired or sluggish, and just a lack of well-being, depressed even. And not only was she dismissed, but her doctor doubled down and went on to say, testosterone's not even FDA approved. Hi, I'm Dr. Reicha your functional medicine MD, also board certified in family medicine. I've taken care of women for the majority of my career. That's 30 years. Let's take a moment to unpack what was said. First of all, the idea that women don't need testosterone is completely false. Mm. Let's talk facts. We have three primary sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. All three play an important role in both men and women. And let's not forget about our other hormones, adrenal and thyroid. They're super important to be in balance. And if one's out of balance, the rest may be as well. Now, what does testosterone actually do for a woman? Testosterone plays a vital role in libido, yes, sexual health. This is your permission to reclaim that bedroom mojo. It boosts your energy, you know, the ability to get through the day without a caffeine IV. It helps maintain muscle mass. It supports bone density so you don't develop osteopenia or osteoporosis and shrink as you age. In a nutshell, it helps us reclaim our chi or vitality for life. So yes, testosterone is absolutely critical to a woman's health, especially as we age. Now let's address the FDA statement. My patient's doctor was absolutely right. Testosterone is not approved by the FDA for use in women. But here's the kicker. There are a ton of medications that are used every single day and are not FDA approved. Metformin is meant for diabetics, but used in PCOS. Gabapentin is used for anti-seizure medication, but used for hot flashes. I'm not saying that's a good use of it. And Seroquel, an antipsychotic that has known side effects, is used for insomnia. So just because it's not FDA approved doesn't mean that it's unsafe. It just means that the research is lagging. And I think with time, testosterone will be approved for women. Why is it approved for men, but not women? Why should he have all the fun? And look at the side effect profile. We naturally produce it. So if you're sensibly having it replaced, you're not gonna have side effects, or you don't have to. Now let's talk about the forms of testosterone. The two main forms are creams or pellets. Let's talk logistics. The creams you can place on and take off. You can increase and decrease the dose at will. But pellets once placed, stay for months. So it might be smarter to start with a cream. I'm not a big fan of pellets. And I always say, you wanna know how you break down your testosterone. The last thing you wanna do is lose the front of your hair if you're breaking it down too quickly into a byproduct called DHT. So if you're feeling tired, have low libido, are gaining weight, or just not feeling like yourself, find a doctor that will listen to your concerns and not brush them off. More importantly, find someone who is familiar with hormone replacement, particularly bioidentical hormones in women. There's no need to suffer, especially when there's a solution. So if you've liked this video, like and subscribe. More importantly, share it with a woman you think could benefit.